I truly believe generative AI is going to democratize the delivery of healthcare. I think we're going to be able to deliver services at pennies on the dollar from where we were. And so that more people will get the services that they need and that they deserve. And I think it'll still be a trust game and it'll still be a human game. If you don't have the good guardrails, if you don't have the effect of bias and ethics built into it, if you're not sensitive and understand what this might or might not do for you from a negative and a positive, and you build that into your thinking, it could be a big failure. With power to summarize large amounts of data and distill it down into something that's more approachable and more efficient um, is incredibly exciting. But the flip side of that is we have to make sure that it's high quality. We can't use those tools to expose our data, uh, to let people access the data who are not supposed to. We can't let the Gen AI you know, learn or summarize things that aren't factually accurate or could lead people, you know, astray into to risks. I think people are completely overlooking AI explainability. So just because your model can generate a result, but if it can't explain how it came up with that result, we have a fundamental issue. And so, especially in healthcare, it's incredibly important that if you're going to make a determination on a dose or on a diagnosis or on a DRG, you better tell the clinician why you've got this conviction and what percentage of conviction you have on that determination. We're also bringing subject matter experts who understand healthcare data to help interpret it. Because the data alone is merely data. So where we worry and think about is how do you provide the appropriate evidence of what AI generated for our response? I think you're going to see a fair amount of investment on the financial side of healthcare first because the clinical side is a little bit you know, more cautious. If we're gonna make a prediction about a care pathway, that can have kind of life and death implications. Whereas the financial, it certainly has implications, but perhaps not quite as urgent as those clinical pathways. There's a lot of opportunity for that trust to be impacted and lost. And I think that's one of the sensitive parts of this moment is ensuring that trust is not an afterthought, but actively part of how we look at where we build and where we deploy technology.